Complaints of workplace bullying are on the rise and regulators around the country are struggling to deal with the workload. Now in Victoria, the government watchdog is itself accused of having a systemic culture of bullying. National Affairs reporter Heather Ewart has the story. WorkSafe Victoria is the government watchdog over thousands of workplaces across the state. It's charged with overseeing workers' safety, and that includes investigating complaints about bullying. Yet WorkSafe is being accused of a bullying culture within its own ranks, and some are taking legal action against the regulator. There are pockets in WorkSafe that um, have got what you would describe as threatening, intimidating environments. And I, yes, I have seen that. And it is very, very disappointing. I'm aware that there's a large number of uh, very unhappy employees and former employees of WorkSafe who've alleged that there is a serious bullying problem within the organisation and it has been uh, a serious problem for some time. And if they don't feel secure in their own workplace and their own position, then I think that their ability to do their job is seriously undermined. Clark Martin is the latest victim of restructures at WorkSafe. He started at the regulator 12 years ago as an inspector and worked his way up to middle management. That's until he was made redundant last month. He claims in a climate of low morale and threatening behaviour by some of his superiors. The intimidation I felt was uh, at first subtle. Things like managers being moved without um, much discussion, um, senior managers starting to resign. Um, our our um, direct manager, we were just told, has packed up and left the night before. Um, these kind of things I'd never seen before. A few WorkSafe staff have even lodged bullying claims against their employer in the federal court and before the tribunal Fair Work Australia. In late May this year, a former senior WorkSafe officer settled her case with Fair Work out of court. The settlement was confidential. It was an unfair dismissal case defended by WorkSafe Victoria. The Commissioner referred to claims by the former WorkSafe officer at a preliminary hearing, where she spoke of taking her bullying complaints to HR at WorkSafe. She said one HR manager agreed that a systemic culture of bullying existed and something needed to be done. The complainant said she was in fear of retribution and was disgusted that she'd encountered such behaviour at WorkSafe. How could it be the regulator if it was not the exemplary employer? There was no finding on these claims before the case settled. Lawyers representing the WorkSafe employees are bound by confidentiality agreements. But the firm Morris Blackburn, which represented one such case, says it can make this general observation. Employees generally have difficulties in pursuing bullying allegations because the legal system uh, provides them with absolutely no practical assistance. Employees of WorkSafe are in even greater difficulty because who is going to investigate um, the Occupational Health and Safety Regulator? It can hardly investigate itself. We believe that there needs to be a, a proper review of what's occurring within WorkSafe. But we also think that some of the concerns the staff have about how certain senior managers behave just aren't being treated seriously. WorkSafe has declined an interview, but in a statement, the regulator said that as with any large organisation, there would be some disgruntled employees in times of change. Overwhelmingly, WorkSafe was staffed with happy, productive employees. It refuted any suggestion it discouraged the reporting of bullying incidents and said it was committed to a safe and productive working environment. Clark Martin says he and many of his old colleagues don't see it that way. WorkSafe has to be the exemplar. We have to lead everyone in, in our practices. And it is just so disheartening to, 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 to hear about, see, um, you know, management practices that aren't delivering the kind of exemplar behaviour that's needed. While WorkSafe says it's commissioned an independent inquiry into its internal complaints process, the union claims the system remains ad hoc and it's alarmed by the stories it's hearing from its WorkSafe members. Morale is rock bottom. There's been recently an employee opinion survey that has highlighted that uh, morale within that organisation is almost collapsed. 
WorkSafe disputes this, but as the national focus on workplace safety and bullying intensifies, Clark Martin argues the culture he experienced in some pockets at WorkSafe means staff are risk averse and less inclined to speak freely for fear of losing their jobs. We're WorkSafe Victoria. We've got anywhere should should feel safe to speak up should be at WorkSafe Victoria. And I, 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 like many other managers and many other people at WorkSafe, are disappointed that, that that's not the case. It used to be the case. It was publicity surrounding the shocking case of the suicide of a young Melbourne waitress, Brodie Panlock, in 2006 that opened the floodgates to bullying complaints to WorkSafe. Brodie's employers were successfully prosecuted by the regulator for bullying and in 2011 a new anti-stalking law was set up in her name. There is simply too many complaints for OHS regulators to investigate. As a result, they don't investigate the overwhelming majority of such um, complaints. It is very rare for an occupational health and safety uh, regulator to take any action about a bullying complaint. A prosecution of uh, a workplace bully or a company for workplace bullying is even rarer. In the past 13 years, WorkSafe has prosecuted only 30 bullying cases and Brodie's law has never been used. Look, clearly there is a frustration amongst a number of inspectors about their ability to get matters before courts. We've got concerns that we don't have enough inspectors. We've only got six inspectors designated for bullying for the whole of the state. All of those issues are starting to take a toll on the staff who don't believe there's enough emphasis in trying to deal with recalcitrant employers who need to have the matters addressed properly. These are just some of the concerns to be faced by the newly appointed CEO of WorkSafe, a New Zealand bureaucrat, Denise Cosgrove, who starts in the job next month. I think it's going to be um, a rocky road. I think the organisation is very unhappy, currently doing its enterprise agreement. It's quite, quite distressed staff associated with the management practices and I think that she will have her job cut out for her.